A good Merev Shabbos, everyone. Welcome to Turn Back, Turn Friday into Erev Shabbos. Big thank you to our series sponsors for the year. Remember to support a fishman who is 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 Time to get ready. Late Shabbos, early Shabbos, almost everybody Shabbos. So we are here to turn Friday into Arab Shabbos, and I want to share with you what I think is a beautiful insight that I saw from Rav Pinkus, Rav Shimshon David Pinkus, who was a famous Balmusa, the Rav and Rosh Hashiva of Ofakim, who tragically was killed in a car accident. He lived 1944-2001. Rav Pinkus writes the following very beautiful idea in his Nefesh Shimshon on Shabbos Kodesh, and that's what I want to share with you. As we transition into Shabbos, as we get ready for Shabbos, what we're meant to feel, what we're meant to experience, how we're meant to be transformed. Shabbos, Shabbos is that point. It is that moment of love. It is that moment of connection. It is the moment of rendezvous, the moment of intimacy between us and Hashem. The whole world is hidden. I love the imagery, the picture that Rav Pincus paints here. The idea. If you remember, if you're married, you remember your wedding. If you want to be married, Hashem should bless you with finding your basher. So if you're married, you remember your wedding. You remember where there was such excitement. The chasen's tish and the kala at the Kabbalah's panam was, was receiving her friends. Everybody danced to the badekin and there was music and dancing and crowding and a mosh pit. And then everybody calmly went to the chuppah and the room was focused, all of their attention, the chassan and kala stood, they were the center of attention, and they were sharing that moment, that experience, together with all of their guests and all of their family whose attention was focused on them. But then after that, they were danced to a special room, the yichud room. And depending on a person's opinion, six, seven, eight, nine minutes, nine minutes of yichud, two witnesses stand outside the room as the chassan and kala get nine minutes to be alone, nine minutes together. And those nine minutes are the real evidence of marriage. When you're together in front of everyone, sharing the moment with everyone, it's special. But it's not marriage. It's not intimate. It's not unique. It's not exclusive. It's when that chasan and kala retreat into that yichud room. When the chasan takes her, so to say, into his territory, into a room, they lock the door. Nobody comes in or out. Nobody can see. Nobody has access. It is a private. They confide in each other. They spend time together. There's affection together. That moment is the expression of that connection and it establishes the uniqueness of the relationship as different and distinct than all others. Says Repinkus, Shabbos is the yichud room between us and Hashem. All week long, the world can connect with us, and we connect with the world. All week long, we follow the headlines, and we read the people's stories, and we're maybe on social media. And all week long, people follow us. They know how to call us. They know how to follow us. They know how to get a hold of us. They know how to get into our lives. Shabbos, we go into the yichud room with Hashem. Shabbos, we are alone. Shabbos, we are disconnected from our surroundings. Shabbos is not something that we share with the entire world. We're not aware of the world and the world's not aware of us. What happened in sports over Shabbos? Find out in Motzei Shabbos. What happened in the world, in the geopolitical changes in the world? Find out in Motzei Shabbos. What's going to be with the what? What's going to be with it? Find out in Motzei Shabbos. And what about the world wanting to know or tap into or follow or track or trace us? They'll find out on Motzei Shabbos. Shabbos is the experience, the equivalent of a yichud room, a chasen kala. We are establishing our relationship. Yes, they are a bride and groom when they're in front of the rest of the world too. And yes, we have a cherished, loving relationship with Hashem, even when we are shared and we share with the rest of the world. But what establishes that different, as exclusive, as unique, as elevated, is yichud. You're not allowed to have yichud with someone you're not related to. And similarly, a non-Jew is not allowed to observe Shabbos. The non-Jew doesn't go into Yichud with Shabbos the way that we do. It's a gift God has given us. Each of us, not alone, with our family. We close that door of our home on Shabbos. There is no technology. There's no cord. There's no connection. There's no antenna. There is nothing bridging or binding us to the rest of that world. Our home is the Yichud room of our family together with Hashem. No disturbance. No distraction. Nothing else. Such a beautiful image that Rav Pincus provides. He continues, Ru'uk Yashem Nasan Lachem Shabbos. 
אני נותן לך מסר מיוחד. I'm giving you a specific and unique message. דעו כי יש נשאבס, ודעו שאפשר בשאבס להגיע לקרבה דבקה ואבס השם יזבורך כזו. השם says, I'm giving you a gift, I'm inviting you into my home, I'm going to lock the door behind us. I'm going to make time for us. We're going to have a closeness and a connection. We're going to have a bond and a yearning, a dvekas. We're going to have a clinging and a cleaving. There is no other time that one can achieve that level. We say in our Kiddush that this day is sanctified above and beyond. It's elevated more than any other day. In some ways, it's even holier than Yom Kippur. Shabbos is the holiest day of the week. Holier even than Yom Kippur in some days. Shabbos is the holiest of all of the holidays. Elevated, enriched, lifted above and beyond any of the others. So that is the image. That is what we're trying to achieve. Immerse ourselves in Shabbos. Lock that door behind us. With our guests, with our neighbors, with our family, or even in the shul. But as opposed to engaging the whole rest of the world. We have a halacha on Shabbos, Minsa, Chavtza Chavadah Berdavar. You're not supposed to read literature of the rest of the week. You don't read the news. You don't read advertising and marketing. You don't read business. Shabbos is Shabbos. We're shut down and disconnected. It's there. We engage the world. We love the world. We participate in the world. And it'll be there waiting for us after Shabbos. But Shabbos is that Yichud room. You don't go into the Yichud room, the Chassan and Kala, and bring reading material. You don't go into the Yichud room and bring a book. And you don't go into Shabbos and read about non-Shabbos topics. Yes, we read on Shabbos. You can even post on Motzei Shabbos what you read and inspire others to read on Shabbos. We read on Shabbos. We learn on Shabbos. We sleep on Shabbos. Whatever we do on Shabbos, we're fully in Shabbos and we're not still connected outside that Yichud room. We're not still holding on. We're not FaceTiming. We're not WhatsApping. And we're not reading something that's not Shabbos, that's not connected to Shabbos. So this is the image I wanted to share with you. Rav Pincus is beautiful image that Shabbos is the Yichud room between us and Hashem, and just like no one else can enter a Yichud room where it's not Yichud, Goyesh Shabbos Chayev Misa. This is something unique and distinct. Hashem gave it to us, the Jewish people, to go into Yichud, to experience that privacy, that intimacy, that rendezvous, that connection. And I challenge you and me, I challenge all of us, that this Shabbos and every Shabbos, that when we sit around that Shabbos table and we sing Shalom Aleichem, whether we literally or figuratively lock our door, but we create this cocoon, this force field around ourselves, and we say... We're now in Yichud with Hashem. Let's sing and laugh and tell stories. Let's share Divrei Torah. Let's have conversation. Let's sing Zmiros. But let's be together with each other and be together with Hashem. We have the privilege and the pleasure of being disconnected from the rest of the world and all that it has to offer. So until next time, Kavit Shabbos Kodesh. Have a healthy and a happy and a very holy Shabbos. Ay, 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 ay. Shabbos, <laughs> 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 <laughs>